Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 3. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to multiply and divide using a letter to represent the unknown. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. We will use math in real life situations. We'll know that we're successful when we can use a letter as a placeholder to represent the unknown in multiplication and division problems. Look at the equation below. The red question mark represents the unknown. So what do we know? We know that the first factor is 3 and we know that the product is 24. We can count by 3 to solve for the unknown. 3 6 9 12 15, 18, 21, 24. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 threes. So we can say that the unknown number is 8. Three times an unknown equals 24, and the unknown equals 8. A scientist separates rocks into four equal groups. There are 24 rocks in all. How many rocks are in each group? Let's use a tape diagram to solve for the unknown. The letter R represents the unknown. We want to know how many rocks are in each group, and there are Four groups. Notice that the tap, tape diagram has four boxes with an unknown number of rocks in each box, but we know that the total or product is equal to 24. We want to know the number of rocks in each group. We can count by four to find the unknown. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. There are six fours in twenty-four. So the number of rocks in each group is six. We can say that 4 times the unknown equals 24. And if the unknown, or r, equals 6, we can rewrite the equation to be 4 times 6 equals 24. There are 6 rocks in each group. Six plus six plus six plus six equals twenty four. Let's use that strategy in a division equation. 
find the value of m in the e division equation. 50 divided by m equals 5. In this case, we can count by 5 to find the unknown. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. There are ten fives in fifty. So we know that the unknown is equal to ten. Let's use that strategy to solve our read, draw, write question. We're going to read the question and find the most important information. We'll draw a picture to help solve the problem. This could be an array, a tape diagram, or any other math model. And finally, we'll write the answer as a sentence. Billy sells glasses of lemonade for five cents each. What is the total amount Billy makes selling seven glasses of lemonade? Use the letter G to represent the total amount Billy makes. Then solve the problem. So five cents each, seven glasses, G is the unknown. So the number that we don't know is the product. So G would go in the place of the product. We know the two factors are 5 and 7. Let's go to our Jamboard to draw a math model. So he sells 7 glasses, it makes five cents in each glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five cents on each glass. The unknown is here. What is the total product of 5 times 7? That's the letter G. G is the unknown. So we can say that 7 times 5 equals G. And now we can count by 5 7 times to find the unknown value. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. The unknown is equal to 35. So we can say that Billy makes 35 cents. Seven times five equals thirty-five. Let's check our answer. Answer. Billy makes thirty-five cents. 5 times 7 equals G, and G equals 35. 
Okay, now it's your turn to do a read, draw, write question on your own. We are going to read the question together. You will pick out the most important information and draw a math model to solve the question. Finally, you'll write your answer in a complete sentence using information from the problem. And once you're satisfied with your answer, you can go to the description box below where I've provided the correct answer for you to check your work. After we're done reading the question, you can pause your screen, do the work, and check your answer. Jonah has 20 cents to buy donuts. If donuts are 5 cents each, how many can he buy? Use the letter D to represent the number of donuts. Then solve the problem. Okay, it's your turn to do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next lesson.